Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my Minecraft Bedrock Jetpack Hack tutorial. If you haven't watched part 1, you should probably go do that now. The link is in the description. Okay, so first, you're gonna want to pull up your cheat table from last time, make sure it's attached to the game, and make sure all of these names have no spaces after them. After you've done that, press Ctrl, Alt, and L to bring up the Lua window. Then, we're gonna grab all of these values and put them in here. And we're gonna want to make a new variable called speed. If you want to bypass anti-cheats, you should pick a value of 1 or lower. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using 5. Now we're going to have to make the values usable. We add pi to the exhortation because before we add it, it looks like this, and after we add it, it looks like this, which is a lot easier to work with. Now we're going to want to calculate our horizontal and vertical speeds. We can store the horizontal speed in a variable, and we'll just go ahead and set the vertical speed in the game right away. We can find our vertical and horizontal velocities using our Y rotation. This diagram might help make it easier for some of you to understand this. Okay, so now we're going to want to set our X and Z velocities. Once you've done that, you should have a basic working script, and whenever you press Execute Script, you will be launched forward. So now we have to activate it on a hotkey. While a hotkey is being pressed, you will be launched forward and you'll be able to fly. So first we're going to create thread. Now we'll use a while loop to make it loop forever. Now we have to check if our hotkey is being pressed. In this case, I'm going to be using F. Okay, so now press execute script and whenever you press F, you will be launched forward. And just hold it down to keep flying and then release the key to stop flying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you, and uh, yeah.